Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So JJ Reddick said this morning on First Take that the part for me that's disappointing, there's been bad body language all season. Both he and Stephen A. Smith said multiple times and alluded to Heat players straight up not liking one another, unlike their 2020 and 2022 runs. I just think that this team has ran its course with the players that are on this roster. The undraftedness completely ran its course. And once again, I'm going to say for the hundredth time, I don't want to see any more undrafted players on this team. I'm not saying that we can't maybe have one or two guys that are in the pipe that we're trying to build and trying to grow as a player. But to have eight undrafted guys on this roster, there's no other team in the NBA that does that. And once again, I know that we've had success. We've had great success with undrafted guys. But right now, I think that we're using and abusing it And we're trying to overdo it with the whole undraftedness because clearly they all have a ceiling. Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent, Max Strews, Haywood Heisman, they all have a ceiling. And when it really comes to playoffs, when it comes down to putting in buckets, when it's really coming down to scoring, you know, and actually impacting the game of basketball in a positive way, they all have a ceiling. And once again, I just think that Jimmy and Bam, they came into this season and they looked around and said, wait, we're running it back again. We should have learned our lesson from the 2021 series. I mean, uh, season. When we ran it back and got blown out by by Milwaukee in the first round, that should have told us, listen, this Miami Heat team can never be ran back ever again. We have to put guys around Jimmy and Bam and Tyler that, one, are not one-dimensional, guys who can create their own shot, guys who are athletic, guys who have talent. You know, all this undrafted stuff can only really take you so far. And once again, we have seen great great success. But however, it's time for us to move on from that. You know, I, I know a lot of people like to talk about Tyler Hero's defense, this team has terrible roster construction. We're supposed to put defenders around Tyler Hero. You're supposed to put players around your star players that complement them and actually improve on their weaknesses. So since Jimmy and Bam aren't the best shooters, that's fine. You put high-level shooters around him. Kyle Kuzma, Buddy Yield. You got to put guys like that around Jimmy and Bam that can actually shoot, spread the floor, and who are actual threats. Guys who can do more than just maybe sit in the corner and shoot threes. Guys who can actually create off the dribble, create their own shot, you know, guys who can actually, you know, actually flow in the offense. I think that's some of the things that we're really dealing with. In terms of bad body language, I just feel like Bam Adebayo really thought Donovan Mitchell was coming. Some of us really did think Donovan Mitchell was coming. Donovan Mitchell even said he thought he was going to the Miami Heat or the New York Knicks, you know, and when we don't improve, stars get pissed off. Stars start to check out because they look and they're like, listen, we're not going to win. Every single team in the East pretty much got better, all the competitive ones at least, you know, and we want to sit around here and I get it, you know, Tyler Hero, he's 23 years old, but, you know, he has a lot of deficiencies in his game. And uh, same thing with Jimmy and Bam, you know, like in terms of a trio, they don't fit, you know, Bam and Jimmy, they don't even play off of each other. They're not really good in the pick and roll. They don't even do that enough, in my opinion. Uh, Bam and Jimmy, once again, they're not the best shooters. So when you have your star players who really none of them shoot threes. OK, and they're besides Tyler Hero and even still, you know, they don't really take that many mid range shots. And when they do, it's it's kind of like a 50 50 on if it's going in. It's really hard to compete in this NBA. We struggle to score 100 points. You know, this NBA is more wide open than ever before. And we're struggling to score. That alone should tell you some of the problems on this roster. So once again, I'm really looking forward to some of the upgrades that are happening. I wouldn't say that they don't necessarily like each other. I wouldn't go that far. I don't think that they hate each other. I just think that when you're on a team for so long, and it happened like with the big three, once you keep running it back and running it back and running it back, stuff gets stale, stuff gets old, and this roster has been maximized. This this roster has reached its ceiling, and it's time for a huge improvement. We need guys that can you know compete with the high-level talent in this NBA. But let me know what you guys think about what J.J. Redick and Stephen A. Smith said. They said that it's a disappointing season, of course, and this team has had bad body language all season. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.